Ooh, welcome back to another video guys all right today we have nogaf pet nogaf armor a bunch of nogaf news kumong's birthday and some other stuff let's get right into it starting this friday at 6 p.m upgrade your account with membership or adventure coins to unlock january's bonus gear from nogaf the void overlord evolution okay all packages will come with the Void Overlord Evolution Character Page Badge, so you can show all of your friends that you are a true no member of the Nalgaf Nation. Alright, so there's a Nalgaf armor, an actual Miltonius Nalgaf armor as a package. And if you want the color custom version, uh, that's forty dollars, twelve month, twelve k AC. Uh, you get two armors: the color custom version and the regular version. Four helmets, six capes, two weapons. I think the weapons are the axes right there. Probably a single and dual uh, wheel version of those axes. You can see the cape right there. Uh, the cape is color custom, of course. Uh, it's on someone's character page right now, but it's right there. I don't really need to show you the character page. Uh, and then if you buy the lower tier version, up to six months, uh, which is weird because I never get this six months I, I well i get why they do this but six months costs the same as 12k ac uh but you have to buy 12k ac if you want to tie it to your package even though six months costs the same as 12k ac so yeah it's kind of 12 months is like the biggest rip ever so um you have one armor two helmets three capes one weapon and the xp bonuses and i'm pretty sure you get the badge too uh, here's what the badge looks like. It's animated. I don't know if the gift's gonna play. Here doesn't seem to be wanting to play. A little, shi a little shine on the eye right there. Nothing too special. I don't know if the character page, like if you're on the actual character page page, if it'll be shining. Uh, but right there it is. So maybe it will be. Maybe that's just for the book of lore. Uh, we don't know yet. So there you go. Uh, it also says something about came back to work on several sets for AQ and Hero Mart. I don't know if that's future stuff for Hero Mart or past stuff for Hero Mart and AQ. Uh, we could see some new stuff from Miltonius, of course. We've been seeing a lot of Miltonius stuff recently, uh, so maybe he's coming back in a small way uh, to every now and then release an armor or something for AQ. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool stuff there. And uh, yeah, kind of controversial whether or, uh, whether people are okay with it being in the shop like that and the last little bit here uh, Patrick Crab, the person who had the armor commissioned this armor. It was a commission uh, from Mr. Crab, Mr. Patrick uh, It wasn't even he wasn't even sure if there was gonna be a color custom version uh, It's kind of a bonus. He'd rather have it as an AC item in the shop or Nelgoth Rare shop as well so even the person who commissioned it, not really a big fan of it being as a 12 month, uh, 12k AC package sort of deal there. And I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way. So, the Nalgath Nation package is coming out tomorrow. We are also getting an event for Kumong's birthday. Uh, this is male and female, or uh, female, the, well actually it switches for some of them, so, uh, every slot is male and female versions of the same armor. So that is the same armor as that. Uh, somehow, uh, I guess in Krulog's world, uh, so the female version is much different than the male, which I'm okay with, because the female version, in my opinion, looking a bit better, not a big fan of plate armor. Female version, male version, male version, female version, uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, a lot of them look pretty similar, but this one's kind of a big difference there. It looks like a completely different armor on the bottom, but that will be, I think most of these armors, or almost all of these, are coming out tomorrow for Krulog's birthday, so that'll be pretty cool. Uh, that's coming out along with the Nogath Nation stuff tomorrow. Here's a sneak peek of the map that I assume J6 works, worked on because he works on a lot of the maps and looks like his style with the space. There's a pyramid in there. It looks like a castle and a path leading to the castle. So that's probably what the quest line is going to be based off of. I got kind of a lunar eclipse happening in the background. Looks pretty cool. Currently working on a upcoming revamp for Battleon and Green Guard to make more new friendly. Uh, I think this will be a really good thing. Okay, so I don't know what they're going to change about Battleon. They revamped Battleon a few years ago uh, to what it looks like today from the old Battleon, uh, which some people like, some people dislike. It's a lot bigger than it used to be, a Battleon. But uh, Green Guard, I can see Green Guard needing a revamp. Uh, I think that's a good thing. And uh, 
I think Ocean asked if there was anything we could see, like any screenshots or anything. And she, uh, Mehmet said it was too early in development to be showing anything. So that's that. If for some reason you want to get the December package, uh, that is going away, of course, when the new package is coming in. Uh, but if you want to get the new package, I would not recommend getting the December package. Uh, but that's up to you. That's your choice. So that will be going away on January 5th. So make sure you pick that up. You only have like a, a little bit of a day left to get it. Probably less than 24 hours or a little more than 24 hours. Depending on when you watch this video. Okay. Alright, I'll leave a link to the Reddit post in the description. Memory loss and darkness. Credit to him for finding this. I don't really go in the battle on forums all that often. Uh, but sometimes we get some cool information from them. Uh, because it is their forums. I would, I would like if they had an official Reddit that they used a lot, like a lot of communities, like the League of Legends community, uh, oh, like every game I play currently has a, com a huge community on Reddit. Uh, you guys should get on the AQW Reddit if you're watching this video. I'll leave a link to this post in description. You can f uh, make it a Reddit account, follow Reddit, uh, not follow, but uh, follow r slash AQW on Reddit and uh, you can participate. It's kind of like a forum. It's like a better version of a forum. Like if you look at the Battle on Forums page, it looks really... Uh, bad there like it looks really old uh, AQ, uh, Reddit's kind of like an updated forum for most things so uh, yeah or right, anyway on to what actually is in the post uh, so the keeper of owls asked if there's any plans for more aqua marines more things to do with the aqua marines uh, any word on new quest pets uh, for the Nogas birthday shop and Suka uh, replies with probably not I like to usually have one gem or something so people get less confused We'll see, I guess. Uh, you guys have enough farming quests right now. So, this doesn't explicitly say we're not getting a farming pet. Uh, and it would be... They didn't do... Okay, they didn't do a Legion token pet for December, which they normally do. So, and they're not... From what this implies, that there won't be a Nogath farming pet. I hope that's wrong. Now, this isn't explicit. It doesn't mean, yes, there won't be an Alga Farming Pet. Uh, it means, I don't know. I don't know what it means. You can interpret that any way you want. It doesn't, it doesn't explicitly say there won't be a pet. It doesn't say there will be a pet either. So, uh, whether or not we're getting an Alga... Uh, I think Alina, Alina said something about adding a quest to a certain pet earlier that we had info on. Uh, like for gems, something about farming gems uh, that she hinted at. But there was nothing explicitly said there either. So whether or not we're getting a Nolgath farming pet for this January is up in the air at the moment. So, yeah. Tell me what you think about that in the comment section below, guys. Uh, leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're not already. I do a video like this each and every week, every Thursday. Uh, so if you want to stay up to date, you can do that. If you want to see last week's video, which has some news that's relevant, that's still relevant and still not out yet, uh, you can check out last week's video. Uh, that will have some news that wasn't in this one. I don't like to repeat myself in the news videos that often. So you can go back and watch that too also. Uh, yeah, again, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not ready. Go follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. All right, as of editing the video, uh, A-Ranks confirmed that his Nogat set will be farmable. I'm not sure if it's the red or blue version. It says CC on blue right there. Uh, so maybe it's this one with this color custom or maybe not. I think he did design this as a package for January, but uh, I think they changed their plans and replaced it by the Overlord or whatever the new one is called, the Void Overlord Evolution. I think that's what they uh, replaced this with, so this will become a farmable package. Thanks for watching the video again. I'll see you guys all in the next one.